Welcome back to the Angus Report for this informational segment brought to you by our friends at Zoetis. I'm joined today by Kent Anderson, Associate Director of Technical Services for Zoetis, and Tanya Amen, Director of Genetic Services for the American Angus Association. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Thanks. Crystal. Today we're talking about making better bull buying decisions through the use of DNA technology. And Kent, there's some high density DNA tests available today, including the HD50K test from Zoetis. Talk about how commercial producers can benefit from this technology. Sure, Crystal. Well, thanks to our partnership with Angus Genetics Inc., we're now able to blend all the traditional as well as the new marker information to achieve the highest level of accuracy possible for young non-parent animals. And thanks to the adoption of Zoetis HD50K technology by Angus breeders, we're now able to achieve more accuracy for these young animals than ever before. The benefit for commercial bull buyers is that it's the equivalent of buying bulls with an initial progeny proof. So if they're buying bulls from which they want to keep daughters, the accuracy of the genomic enhanced EPD because of the pedigree and the performance and the marker information is now equivalent to buying a bull that already has a dozen or so daughters in production. Um, it's equivalent if you're buying bulls for growth traits uh, to those that already have 15 to 20 yearling weight and dry matter intake records contributing to their EPDs. And if you're buying bulls for important carcass traits for CAB production, it's like buying bulls that already have an offspring that have carcass data collected. So you can buy bulls for, for specific reasons with more confidence. And Tanya Kent mentioned the, how this information is incorporated into genomic enhanced EPDs like Hever Pregnancy. Explain what this means for breeders. Sure. So the genomic information uh, is incorporated into our EPDs uh, with a calibration with the scientists at Zoetis. Um, such that they give us the genomic information on these animals and we compare it to the large phenotypic database present on Angus animals and figure out how well the genomics correlates uh, with actual phenotypic information. And based on that, we can use the genomic information uh, properly weighted into the EPDs along with all of the classic sources of information used in EPDs. The really great thing is that the genomics can be incorporated on a baby calf if we'd like to. And so we can get higher levels of accuracy much earlier in the animal's life. So as Kent mentioned, commercial uh, users of Angus genetics can buy those young Angus bulls with a good start on a first calf crop uh, worth of information. Well, and then parentage verification is also a component of the Zoetis HT50K test. Explain that. It is, Crystal. When animals are tested, Zoetis reports all the results, including the parentage marker genotypes, to our partners at Angus Genetics, Inc. Then there's a second benefit of HD50K tested bull bulls as it relates to a companion product that we call GeneMax. GeneMax was developed for commercial producers to evaluate animals for gain and grade. But another important, important feature of GeneMax is multi-sire assignment. So if commercial producers run big multi-sire breeding pastures, they can, um, they can test the offspring of those animals and so long as the bulls have been Zoetis HD50K tested, we will assign to each individual tested animal uh, what their specific sire is. The advantage of that is that if they test replacement heifer candidates, they can um, then err on the side of selecting heifers that are from bulls that are strong in the maternal traits um, as evaluated through the genomic enhanced EPDs powered by Zoetis 50K. Uh, it also allows you in multi-sire pasture situations to sort of evaluate your bull battery, if you will, those that are siring the most calves, uh, those, are, those that are siring the calves that perform like you want them to, and those that aren't. So there's some obvious advantages there when it comes to selection decisions. Are you seeing producers, more and more producers using this technology? Crystal, we, we really have. We're getting these young non-parent Angus bulls into the marketplace for commercial producers that really have more accuracy than, than any bulls of other breeds or untested bulls um, in, in the history of, of commercial cattle production. 
So as we enter bull buying season, where can producers go to find bulls that have been tested with the Zoetis HT50K test? There are a variety of sources, both on the Angus website as, a, as well as a website that's sponsored by Zoetis. That website is genomeexchange.com and it lists breeders that have adopted the technology and is a conduit through which commercial producers can find tested animals. And Kent mentioned Angus.org as a way of finding those animals as well. Sure, the pedigree lookup feature on uh, angus.org allows you to enter the registration number uh, for any Angus animal and right up under their birth date on uh, their EPD and pedigree will indicate whether they've been tested with uh, high density genetic tests. It'll indicate if their parentage has been verified uh, through DNA technology. Um, also the most logical places are uh, most Angus breeders will advertise in their sale catalog if their animals are tested. So a lot of good resources out there, it sounds like. Um, that's all the time we have for today, but if you would like to know more information about the Zoetis HD50K test or genomic enhanced EPDs, visit angus.org or zoetis.com. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank you. We'll be back with the Angus Report after this. This segment of the Angus Report is brought to you by Zoetis and genomeexchange.com, your source for genetically tested Angus cattle. Genome Exchange provides a listing of Angus breeders involved in DNA testing and cattle that have been genomically evaluated. To learn more about the Zoetis HD50K, GeneMax, or Genomic Enhanced EPDs, visit GenomeExchange.com or Angus.org today. Plan on attending what's sure to be one of the top Angus events of the year, Schiefelbein Farm's 23rd Annual Sale. Saturday, February 15th at the ranch near Kimball, Minnesota. Selling 250 registered yearling Angus bulls out of the breed's most elite sires. 75 powerful registered Sim Angus bulls, all embryo transfer created and homozygous black and polled. Plus, 50 fancy registered Angus bred heifers mated to the most sought after sires in the business. We'll see you on February 15th. And don't forget about us on Superior Productions on sale day. Schiefelbein Farms, changing the way seed stock business gets done. Learn more at SchiefelbeinFarms.com. Celebrate the Angus tradition at the Trowbridge Family of Friends Angus Sale at the historic Denver Stockyards, January 16th at 6.30 p.m. during the National Western Stock Show. The sale represents the industry's leading genetics and includes heifer calves, pregnancies, embryo packages, and more. Don't miss the chance to invest in top Angus genetics. Visit TrowbridgeFarms.com for more info, and we'll see you in the yards. Harness the power of the industry's most comprehensive DNA test for Angus cattle, the GeneSeq Angus GGPHD. The GeneSeq Angus GGPHD improves reliability of EPDs in young animals and those with low accuracy EPDs. Adding GeneSeq Angus GGPHD information on a day old calf is just like adding progeny data without waiting two to three years. Because DNA testing is not influenced by environment or management, the GeneSeq Angus GGPHD gives your customer a better view of how that animal will work in their herds. GeneSeq and Igenity, partnering with Angus since 2009 and in delivering innovation to the industry. Learn more at neogenagrogenomics.com. Batter up! Cotton & Associates is proud to invite you to the legendary 2014 Bases Loaded Sale at Coors Field in Denver, Colorado on January 14th just minutes from the National Western Complex. Selling top genetics from leading Angus producers from across the country. The sale starts at 5 p.m. Tuesday, January 14th. To bid online, visit liveauctions.tv. Visit cotton-associates.com. That's cotton-associates.com to learn more. Here it is, folks. The Thomas Angus Ranch brings you 120 fall long yearling bulls on February 14th and 400 head on March 4th. Thomas Angus Ranch at LGW starts at 3 p.m. on February 14th in Pendleton, Oregon, selling bulls sired by Hoover Dam, Keneally Thunder, and more. And the Thomas Angus Ranch Spring Bull Sale on March 4th offers 100 spring yearling bulls, 100 fall long yearling bulls, and 200 bred females that excel on the range, in the feedlot, and on the rail. The March 4th sale starts at noon in Baker City, Oregon, don't miss your chance to put the right genetics in your herd. Thomas Angus Ranch, the brand that covers the nation. 
One sale draws the nation's leading Angus bulls to the National Western Stock Show. One sale represents the best herd sire prospects from across the country and earns the stamp of the American Angus Association, the National Western Angus Bull Sale. In 2014, the breed's top genetics will gather at the Beef Palace Auction Arena at the National Western Stock Show Complex in Denver, Colorado. Join us at 4 p.m. Wednesday, January 15th, as 49 coming yearlings and two-year-old bulls from 17 states are offered for auction. Preview bulls beginning at noon. Join us Wednesday, January 15th at 4 p.m. We'll see See you in Denver.